So we're here with Dennis McCann. Well, we're not here. We're in different places, as everyone is at the moment. But how have you been getting on with the whole lockdown situation? Oh, so joking. I've been, I've been locked down since March the 15th. Um, I've been locked down ever since. We uh, stocked up on food and stuff. And we, um, all my family has just been staying in. It's, it's very, very dangerous because my mum catches this. Uh, she, she's not a very well woman. So she catches this her... Uh, there's a very slim chance that she she come out come out survive. Jesus. So she's got like a, an underlying health condition. Yeah, she's got a few of them. Who um who are you actually living with at the moment? How many of you are in there? Oh, so it's like my brother, my all my brothers, my brother's married as well. So uh, he's in the same place. So so me, so we including me f- five brothers, mum, my dad, sister, and sister in law my wife all in the same place no not the same house no, like, this, but on the same yeah. same like same piece of land like we've got our own gas stuff and are you are you able to kind of mix with each other or just not or yeah, yeah none of us are mo- none of us is moving are we we're all, set, we're all isolating so so none, none of us is moving are so you're kind so, of lucky in a way then that you've got like a little community around you even though you can't go outside the property you know you've got your your family to closest to you you can still interact with no definitely very lucky and I've got a gym there as well but I ain't been well for the last week I had a lot of sinus infection but I'm just uh, today I feel a lot better um, and I want to get back in the gym properly now myself I've got a proper little gym a proper little gym and um, so it ain't too bad for me but I just feel sorry for the ones that ain't got their gyms and I feel sorry for the ones who maybe lives in, lives, lives in a flat or high up flat or something like they really can't can't do F, F all in the main so like, like me now, as bad as I am, I've got a couple of acres I can walk around. Um, I can drive on a motorbike, or you know what I mean, I can I can at least walk around. I feel sorry for the ones. I ain't saying I ain't got no money. I ain't got, I ain't got no money, but I'm saying what about the ones who ain't got ain't got nothing? Who's who can't really go and buy loads of food at once? You when did you get married? March the fourteenth. Yeah, so what? Literally the day before you started isolating. Day after, yeah, straight away. Went straight to isolation. Probably not the start to married life you were expecting. No, definitely not. I was hoping for any moon, but that's, <laughs> that's fell through, isn't it? Jesus. Cheaper for me, though, anyway, so it ain't too bad. <laughs> it's something uh, you can tell the kids one day, I suppose. It's, a, it's an interesting yeah. story. Maybe not the happiest one. but That's if we come out of it okay, hopefully. Yeah, well, fingers crossed we all do. But um, Yeah, so you got married in March. You're only, what, 19? Still, 19. 19 in January. Quite young to get married. You always think you get married young? It's just as part of like, kind of religion kind of thing. And all of us travellers get married young, but um, is that some some people are more mature than others, aren't they? And uh, that's fell in love and that happened, didn't it? <laughs> How long have you guys been together? Oh, over a year, over something like that. But like we know of each other for years, so, like we know each other. Now you're having to spend a lot more time together than you probably thought, even after getting married. I know I've been torturing her every day. I've been getting bored. I've just been, I've just been nagging her and annoying her every day. <laughs> Keep poking her, poking her and annoying her. How much do you miss the gym? I know you've got a gym on the on the land, but obviously yeah. going to the gym with the other lads and stuff. Oh, terrible, terrible. I miss me training around with Eddie and Paul Taylor. We're all, we're all a very very close team. I miss them all terrible, to be honest. I even told Al. Can, I, can you just sneak me in the gym and just train me? But it's a bit, it's a bit dodgy because I could bring it back down to my family, couldn't I? It's probably the cleanest gym in London, to be fair. Oh, definitely is. He, I've seen how Alf but, deals with it, do you know what I mean? It's like spotless. It's spotless, and he don't stop cleaning us. Well, you've got a cleaning company, is not he? So, <laughs> like, he's obviously got the bug, is not he? Wrong choice yeah. of words, but you know what I mean? OCD, I think it's called. Cool. How, like, relieved are you now that you managed to get a fight in in February as well? Because you're not when you come excuse me when you come back in July or whatever it won't be your first outing of the year you've already got one in the bank that's one good thing yeah but I'm just still still good because I'm a very active fighter um, as everyone knows I fight once a month now enough don't I so but we've got a few very very big fights in line where we had a few I mean next fight should be a bit, a bit of a bigger opponent and a big nice step up as well and um, and got I might be in America now hopefully this year as well so just the quicker this goes away, the quicker I can get the ball wrong, don't I? You've had a great start. You're 6-0, four inside the distance. 
Yeah. People are talking about you. There's definitely a buzz about you. Comparisons with some of the greats of the past as well. How are you finding all that? Is it kind of mostly flattering or is there a bit of pressure? How are you finding that? No, I don't, to be honest, I've, I've been, I've, all my career has been pressure, even in the amateurs, because people expected so much from me. Um, so I've always had pressure, but I, that, that doesn't affect me in one minute. It, makes me, it gets me up for it more, to be honest. It don't, I don't really feel pressure. As a, as a young kid, you think I would as well. It's a bit of a weird one. It's a bit of a strange one, because... Like I've I've had pressure where where I was working every day and stuff like that and then going going to the like working all day in work boots and stuff and then in the middle of, like in the middle of London and getting a tra- two three hour trains there and then two three hour trains back and all that carry on and every single day and have to, having to pay for it and stuff like that that's pressure alone but I don't really feel pressure to be honest. Frank Warren obviously is your promoter. He's compared you to Nassim Hamid, just as one example. Yeah. Who did you kind of look up to as a kid? I say as a kid, you're still only 19 now, but yeah. when you were younger and before you got into boxing at a really higher level, who, who were your boxing hero? Um, Andre Ward, Edwin Valerio. Um, Nassim was definitely one of them, 100%. And Crawford, one of my, one, one, one my favourites. I love watching Crawford. And Jeff, definitely Joe Kawasaki, he's got to be up there as well. His work rate is unreal, unreal, unbelievable. Also Manny Pacquiao as well, he's got an unbelievable. Their kind of styles like really do it for me. They're all quite similar, aren't they? Yeah, yeah well, especially the first few you mentioned, they're kind of defensively mm. slick, Yeah. Um, you know, thinking fighters. Thinking fighters, that's what I am, thinking fire. It's brilliant. You've got such a mature head on young shoulders as well, and that's only going to develop more as you get older. The more fish you eat, the more clever I get, won't I? <laughs> is that how it works <laughs> supposedly anyway yeah I'll bear that in mind um, who are the kind of big fights for you in the next year or two at your weight who do you see either domestically or on the fringes in Europe or whatever that's going to be a big fight oh, I'm going to try I'm going to try, um, I'm going to try to get Prince Patel <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of that I don't think he wants it does he he don't want to he's overpricing himself he doesn't want to give the fans what they want to see does he and um, that's what I'm about. I'm all about the fans because the fans pays the bills, and without fans, you, you don't get paid, do you? You know what I mean? So, um, P- Prince Patel, most definite. Um, not this year, but maybe, but next year, maybe Liam McGregor. Ho- hopefully, if he's still if he's still a bantamweight, why then I don't know because he might be overgrown. It. So I've heard. Don't think he can make the weight. I think Kasparuk's already moved up. That's what I heard. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, what other names? Let me think. There ain't a lot of people in, in, in the in the bantamweight division that much in England, is there? The only no, person I can think of really. Cash has moved up, you know, because that would be a great fight, domestically. You and Cash, your your styles, I think, would go well together. Yeah, the slickness of my camera do him though, 100. <laughs> percent No, but um, no, he's definitely a great fighter. I, I think, to be honest, he's probably the. I think Cash is the best in the in the division part for me uh, right now <laughs> yeah. but um, I think he's a really really good fighter I thought he just nicked that against McGregor but it was definitely a very good fight but, and uh, I think maybe next year I'm too young to fight for any British titles or any titles but Liam McGregor will probably be next year but hopefully Patel for now I'm trying to get him but he won't have us How fast do you think you can be moved because time's on your side there's no reason to rush but the talent no reason. there there's, there is no reason. I, I, can, I think I can go as fast as I want to go, really, to be honest. I'm so confident, confident I am, but I'm just going to take my time, keep racking in the wins, keep putting on top, top class performances, um, and that's what I keep doing. Keep giving the fans what they want to see, knockouts and delivering them, because in this division, you don't really see a lot of it, do you? I think I'm starting to starting to deliver, deliver quite, quite a good few of them, aren't I? You're almost certainly still growing as well. So by the time you get to championship level, depending on how long that is, you could be in a different weight class yourself. I could be, but I'll make myself hold this weight for a couple of years, at least. Yeah. Definitely. Most yeah. definitely. <laughs> you might get a Hopefully. growth spurt, yeah. You never know. Well, I'm going to try and force Natto in a way. As long as I can control Natto, I won't. But um, hopefully when I world title this weight, then move up. That's the plan. Right, you're, you and your family are in Maidstone. Yeah, that's where we live. Yeah, so Ma- near there, no, eh? Maidstone, it's in between Maidstone and Ashford. Okay, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. It's called Lenham, you know Lenham? I know Lenham. That's exactly yeah. where I live, literally Snodland. there. Do you know Snodland? Snodland, yep, I heard of Snodland. Yeah, yeah that's where I live. Right near Maidstone, though. Yeah, yeah, right near, yeah. 
So it's the only place I can go at the moment. It's London. We can be neighbours soon. Yeah, well, there you go. We're near enough neighbours. Yeah, we are near enough neighbours. We'd have to get together one day. No, <laughs> one definitely. day in the distant future. Take care. I'll treat you for a bit of food. Yeah, sounds good to me. I'd love, I'd love a bit of food at the moment. All the restaurants have closed down, haven't they? Joking. I've got my missus cooking for me, but she ain't, she ain't a great cook. Oh, she'll love that. She listening. <laughs> she's actually uh, looking at me now. <laughs> <laughs> She just stopped cooking dinner. She knew like whack a pan around your head. Oh, she made me a spam sandwich earlier. I didn't. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm That's joking. not even cooking. <laughs> I'm joking. She's just getting destroyed, right? She kicked me. I haven't said anything bad about her, so I'm alright. But <laughs> I wouldn't want to be you tonight in isolation as well. Oh god. And before I let you go, just for people out there, most people already know about you anyway. But for the ones that don't, how can they follow you on social media? What are your main kind of handles? Um. At Dennis McCann underscore one and Dennis McCann underscore one again on Twitter. Brilliant. Thank you, Danny, mate. Thank you uh, for the you're call. You're welcome. I really appreciate your time. And yeah, can't wait to see you back out.